Wood Island Lighters, okay, have been asking me to do this lighthouse for years now. And I finally got it done. Wood Island Light. It's Maine's second oldest lighthouse. Portland Headlight is first, if you're wondering. It was commissioned by Thomas Jefferson in 1808, and it had to be rebuilt because the tower had to be rebuilt because it started to rot. I think they put salt in the mortar and it started to crumble. But back in 1858, they rebuilt the tower, and that's the tower you see right now. It's a beautiful little lighthouse on an island in Bitterford Pool. What I love about this painting is it's springtime, there's lots of life, there's birds floating around, flying around, sitting around, watching the lobstermen come in at a high cliff. It's a kind of a green colored boat and orange buoys, bright orange buoys. And so there's light around the lighthouse, there's energy, and you can almost feel that summer breeze. It's like here in New England, after winter, you just ready to go out and get some fresh air, and that was a perfect day. It was warm, I think it was in April, the sun was shining. These are the Rogosa roses. I think they were imported by, in, from Japan, and they're so, um, they're so common around here. And these are delicacies, these tomatoes. They're quite delicious, but uh, I wouldn't recommend eating them. I uh, actually never had one of those, and I don't think you should. I think you could die or something, so don't, don't eat the tomatoes. Now this goes uh, right in this pathway. Okay, here we go. I don't want to get any mosquitoes, and the mosquitoes are always so bad in these woods here in Maine. I know I'm kind of wimpy. That's what my wife says all the time, but mosquitoes love me. They absolutely adore me. I don't like them. I've never seen this lighthouse. I'm about to approach it. Wow, look at that. That's a pretty lighthouse. Wow, that's really nice. I see pictures online and I, yeah, I could just, you know, draw from the pictures online, but I never do because there's nothing like visiting the lighthouse itself because I see different angles that most people haven't seen and uh, there's nothing like being there. And my whole point is to capture that moment in art. So you can't fake it really. You have to, you actually have to go and, and check out, or what I do anyway, and uh, you know, experience the moment. I see a lobster boat now, so that's cool. I'm gonna try to count the lobster boat and the lighthouse. That always adds a little bit more to, uh, to the scene, a little more dimension, perspective. I probably took about 300 pictures that day, not really knowing what I wanted. I know obviously I wanted the lighthouse, but also wanted something else around the lighthouse. In this case, the boat, the lobster boat. I have been asked so many times to paint this lighthouse and I finally got it done. And I, it was a beautiful experience to go down there. And I really recommend taking a trip down there and, and seeing the coast, taking a boat ride. There's free boat rides to the island, to walk around there. Friends of Wood Island Light run seasonal tours to the island and it's free. You just can leave a donation if you like. And uh, it's just a great way to go check out this lighthouse, Wood Island Light.